For so many Australian sports fans, it was part of our growing up. Saturday night, the heady aroma of hot chips and methanol. A night at the Speedway. It has been part of the Sydney sports scene since 1927. Saturday night at the old Sydney showground where men with big hearts in tiny cars risk life and limb. Speedway's heyday was the 1960s. The fans would arrive early, thousands upon thousands of them, queuing to get into the track where they would cheer their favourites as they fired up those engines around the famous arena. They raced mighty tight and they raced mighty quick. The most popular attraction, the midget speed cars. The action was fast and furious, the racing spectacular, and so were the prangs. No one wanted to see anyone seriously hurt, but it wasn't a Saturday night at the Speedway if there wasn't a good bingle. Today the Sydney showground is but a colourful page in the scrapbook of our memories and Sydney Speedway tracks are gone, except for one, the Parramatta Raceway. At the raceway on the freeway, here the faithful still come to enjoy their favourite sport, the one their dads and granddads took them to when they were kids. This season the tradition continues, more thrills and more spills. The Aussies battle the Yanks in their time-honoured international series, the engines will roar, the dirt will fly, and the air will be thick with the heady aroma of hot chips and methanol. Be there! Be there! My God! And bring the kids! Another speed car season roaring into action. Tonight we thought we'd uh, better talk to one of the kings of the sport. A man who actually raced the cars back in those golden years. A driver who celebrates his 25th year in Speedway oh. this season. The defending World Series sprint car champion, Max Dumsney. Max, Max. good evening. Max. 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 First race was obviously terribly dangerous back then and uh, yep. a few fellas lost their lives. Yeah, yeah, on the video, video. Yeah, apparently he's all dead. Well, they're all dead. <laughs> that was a bit before my time, but um, yeah, not, not too many people lose their lives out anymore. No. So quite a bit safer. We've got wings on the cars and stuff now. So. What separates? Did they have any, like, there were probably no roll bars in, in the old days, uh, they, did, they had a little roll bar behind the seat and you saw that one guy got flipped out of the yeah. car. They had a seat belt yeah. that was just hooked around their waist. Right. And it was supposed to stop them from getting too far away from the car. That would have been ash Billy, why don't you tell though. Max everything you know about race driving and then we, can, get it, we can get it. Okay. Can, can we do that, Max? Is that all right? <laughs> Max, why don't you ask Billy a few questions? <laughs> Max, sprint cars, um, they got a power to weight ratio, so I've been told, greater than Formula One cars. So there's plenty in there. Uh, you know, Absolutely. Tell us about these cars that you obviously love and that, that you um, well, I've, I've got to say it's the most exhilarating form of motorsport I've ever participated in. I've raced NASCAR, uh, supercars, motorcycles, and um, the, the power-to-weight ratio is just absolutely awesome. The other night at uh, Paramount Speedway, last Saturday night, um, the track was that grippy that you were having to get out of the throttle to stop it wheel standing too much. Really? Like, you got, you got to just squeeze it because you can't nail it. Cause Front end How big are the engines in these things? Uh, 410 cubic inch. Which 410 is, cubic inch. And which the, is about and the, eight, those seven wings, or eight litres. Yeah. yeah. What are they, and those wings, what are they for? The, the wing is for the downforce to hold, right. hold the... So it won't spring up at the yeah. front. And it, the just, it, well, it also helps pin the car to the ground so the tyres don't spin. And you get no, quite look, a bit what, of downforce. You said you drove NASCARs cars and super, you know, they had supercars and everything else. What? What? It's surely they're faster. That's better. The far, speed is not it? It's the acceleration. It's the acceleration and the ability to pass cars. Like in sprint car racing, you can you can pass five cars in a lap. And in a supercar race, if you can't pass five cars in a whole race meeting, you're lucky most of the time. Actually, it looks like here. Looks like you're you're in a permanent drift. A permanent slide. Well, you know, there's not much sort of forward movement. It's all. Um, there's not a straight. There's not a straight. I mean, how like the straights are pretty. They're very short straights, but we only really drift on the corners. So. And what's the difference? What what makes a great driver as against a very good one? What what's the, what is it? The the ability to feel the car to to what? I I've, I've got to say the ability to dig deep. Um, everyone can drive them, but to actually get the car to perform and to get to the the level of the top guys that from the World of Outlaws in America or World Series here in Australia, to get to that level, you've all got the same equipment, but you just got to dig dig real deep in... Like after an accident. Yeah. So, and, so you've got to be careers. How... Yeah. 
how do you how do you go on for all the years you do? Like you're 25 years up. Uh, Gary Rush, another legend. He was in his 50s. Uh, you don't get too many Formula One races in their 50s. No, um, I, I I don't know when it, when is time. When's enough? Like I'm still enjoying it, still winning. Are so. any of those other guys still around, Max? Those um, guys that were you know with, with you in the early days, Gary yeah, Rush. And Gary the, Rush is still around. He he still owns a car. Um, he brings an American out to drive drive it. He he still participated up until last year, I think. The uh, Tatnall brothers were the ones that I remember too from from yep. that era. Are those boys still around? George and Joe. Uh, George passed away last <coughs> year, but Joe's still around and he still participates. And comes to races and oh. you've had a lot of success in America too. I mean, how does it differ over there? Are they good old boys. What's what, what sort of supporters <laughs> are they over there? Uh, the race fans over there are fantastic. Like they just they're absolute nuts for street oh, yeah. car racing. They love anything yeah. with an engine over yeah. there. But, but the, uh, the the guys you're racing against over there. They're really tough, like the World of Outlaws, Steve Kinzer, Donny Schotts. Um, Steve Kinzer, I mean, how long has he been racing? A while, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he's got to be, we were discussing this the other day, he's got to be like 53, but he's still up there running in the top three in the World of Outlaws. Is it the same cars? Yep. No, no modifications? No. So you go over there and you can race them straight yep. away? Up until <laughs> this year we were separate, we had smaller engines, we had 372 cubic inch, but now... What sort of engines though? Are they what, Chev? Chev. Yep, predominantly. Right. Why do you waste your time in Australia? Surely there's more money in it in the States. Um, I've got a business here in Australia, oh, right. and it's, it's a hobby really yeah. for me, it's not a business as such. And who want to live in America? Yeah. And it's such a family uh, night out, you go yeah. to the speedway, you, you can smell the Pluto pups and the chips, and the, it's, a, it's a real family night you out. You had us eating chips with ethanol in them a minute ago. <laughs> I thought, now that's, a bit, like a, <laughs> that's a, a bit over the top. That's a bit over the top. Maybe when a car's gone over the fence and landed on top of you. That's that smell, Billy, and you were like to uh, head snapping uh, <laughs> the substances. Head snapping, exactly. <laughs> Get your backside tracks on. I just remember the ads, and the Tatnall brothers, and you were probably there too, Max, but I'd, uh, you didn't have a name that stuck out for me. No. But I'll never forget it now. Yep. Any chance you've got to hear a word from Max, Billy? Oh, sorry. Max? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing a great job. No, no. <laughs> so, the Yanks, I mean, how tough? What are you you're shooting for number eight? Um, eight World Series championships, yeah. We've got, well, I think we've only got one American competing in the whole series. We've got a few that come and come and go during the series, but um, Brooks <laughs> um, has been very tough. He, he's been going to America. That's George's son. He's been off to America for the last. 10 years and, he? he's, and he's got a very good ride over there and um, when he comes back for the World Series he's very tough. Cause does he, he live over there Max or does he? He lives over there during the summer and comes right. back here during our summer. Right. He's now got a wife and a family over there so he, he may start slowing up and coming back. We produced some good... I said the other night that, that Speedway and wrestling were the two great they were the entertaining sports. They were the sports. There's a commonality yeah, between them and I their knew. golden years. That's how I knew Tatnall and Rush, because straight after World Championship Wrestling with Sam Menneker and Killer Kowalski and those guys would be you guys. Mm. And, you know, I wasn't, was only young, of course, very young man. But um, I remember just watching it, of course. Uh, Tell us about your life. Wait, is through uh, the, the safety features and how you get locked in. Um, well, a sprint car, like I said before, we have a wing on top, which yep. stops them. When, well, when you actually do get the crashing and flipping, it's like a, um, it's an anti, it's an anti um, roll fast type device because it catches a lot of air. Because quite often you ride a wheel and you just take off, and if that wing stays with you, generally it won't be too bad. Right. But if you lose the wing, you're going for a big one. But, right. But a sprint car has um, got a very well protected seat. You've got a seat that wraps around yourself. You get in, you're, you're strapped in with um, five way harness over your shoulders. Right. And better way. Seat. <laughs> yep. And we've got to use a Hans device like um, Formula One in supercars, and I think most of the guys do. Um, also, uh, we're triple layer suits for the fire factor of it. Um, yes. Power clivers and all, all the all the good gear to stop yourself getting hurt. Is there another wing that I noticed on those cars oh, on the front? Small one on the front. Yeah, small one on the front. It, stop at wheel standing. Too. Right. Yep. And what was the condition of the track the other night where you found it hard it to do that? Grippy. It was grippy. What's yeah, grippy? It was, it was, well, it was fairly wet. It oh, right, rained last week and there was a lot of moisture right. come, come up through the track. And right. it, as the moisture comes up, the track gets softer and you get more traction and hence they want to wheel stand and, right. and flick well, off the well, What's the other sort of conditions that can be uh, treacherous? Uh, slippery? Have you heard of slippery? Slick. 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 <laughs> Slick, Slick's not treacherous. It's generally slower. Right. And uh, you get a lot of cars spinning out. And, yeah, and there's not much, like not much slick in the city. I think you need to get out to Parramatta. No. I think I've got to get my backside trackside, Mikey. <laughs> be there. Um, it's back the speedway for yet another glorious summer. Good talking to you. Nice, nice to see you, Max. Thanks. And good luck for everything, man. Thank Max you. Stuff.